Hello, Allison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial, we are going to learn about omit multiple and show omitted only. These are two lesser known uh, features in FileMaker, but super useful. So let's get started. I'm here looking at a list of orders, and the first thing that I would like to do is go ahead and look at January orders. So I'm going to type in one for the month of January and it will default to the current year. So here's my 101 um, orders that came in in January. And the thing that I would like to do is to get a top 10 of the best orders for the month. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and sort them. And I've got the total field uh, over here, but I'll clear that just so you can see how I did that. Click on the total, go ahead and move it, and it defaults to ascending order, but because I wanna see the largest orders on the top of the list, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the descending order option. And then sort, and if I look, uh, scroll through, I can see that the orders are uh, getting lower and that the top orders are at, uh, well, at the top. So the thing is, I want to look and print out a list of just the top 10. So to do this, I'm gonna go up to uh, this little bar at the very top left corner and type in 11. So I'm gonna go to the one record after the first 10 and then I'm gonna go under the records menu and choose the omit multiple option, which is a little past halfway on the list. So when I select that, I cheat here because I'm not good with math on the fly. So rather than specifying the exact number, um, I just say 999 because I know it's gonna be less than 999. And then I choose omit and it's smart, smarter than I am, and it says starting from the current record, only 91 records can be omitted, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna choose okay, and then it uh, puts the correct number in, and I'm gonna choose omit, and now I have my top 10, and I can print it out. So it's a really cool use of uh, the omit multiple uh, feature in FileMaker, and I'm kind of curious uh, if you've used the omit multiple uh, in the past or, or currently, or if now that you've seen this, if you have ideas about how you might use it in the future. So uh, if you do, please share your thoughts and how you use them, uh, the omit feature, uh, in the comments with us. So the next feature that I want to show you is the um, show omitted only. So in my orders, I'm gonna just show all for a minute. I want to see everything in the orders list that is not delivered. Now that might seem really long to go through. I know in previous videos, I've shown you how to do a new request, right? So you can go in and find, and you can choose a status of processing, and then new request, and choose another status of hold, and then perform find, and you'll see 27 records, but what if there were records that didn't have that? Uh, status as processing or hold, uh, but they weren't delivered either. So that could get kind of confusing. So we're gonna learn something new uh, so that it really gives us everything that is not delivered. I'm gonna go ahead and choose find status of delivered and choose perform find. And this time, really simple, I'm gonna go under the records menu and say show omitted only, which is I have 322 records found of the 349 and I wanna see the other records that are hiding right now from view. So basically to sort of swap out um, the record sets. And I'm gonna do this by choosing show omitted only. And sure enough, there's my 27. It turns out that in fact, there are no other orders with a status other than hold or processing. 
uh, but this was a much quicker and easier way to find our orders that weren't delivered than going through and doing the find and new request approach. So that is show omitted only. I'll do a quick demo again. So find everything that's delivered and perform find. Under the records menu, go ahead and choose show omitted only. And there's all your orders that have, uh, have yet to be delivered. So you can go through them. So that is the show omitted only feature. I've shown you how to use it to show all of the orders that have not been delivered yet. And I'm curious if you have ways that you use the show omitted only feature. And if you do, if you would share them in the comments, that would be great. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.